Hello everyone. In this video, we'll talk about derivatives of hemoglobin. So, what are the derivatives of hemoglobin? So, how they form? Hemoglobin are the molecules which readily combines with any gas or other substances to form some products which are called derivatives of hemoglobin. So, they can be grouped into normal or abnormal. So, normal which are usually happening in like uh, loading and unloading of oxygen and abnormal in case of any poisonous gas or any poisonous chemical toxic substances there is formation of derivatives of hemoglobin leads to deactivation of hemoglobin. So, the derivatives of hemoglobin uh, gives characteristic absorption of bands at solar spectrum by which they may be identified. Abnormal hemoglobin derivatives reduces the oxygen carrying capacity of the blood. Okay, and abnormal hemoglobin derivatives are compounds of clinical importance. Okay, you can study about them in case of poisoning. Okay, measurement of these abnormal hemoglobin derivatives can be helpful in diagnosis and monitoring exposure to the toxic compounds. So, normal hemoglobin derivatives, as I mentioned, oxyhemoglobin, reduced hemoglobin. Carb amino hemoglobin or carb hemoglobin. So, these are all like loading and unloading of oxygen and like at, at lungs and at uh, peripheral tissue. Okay, these are the normal forms which are happening normally. Okay, oxyhemoglobin carries oxygen okay, from lungs to tissues and reduced hemoglobin is nothing but which hydra hydrogenated. Okay, when hydrogen ion attached to hemoglobin that is known as reduced which is useful in buffering functioning of uh, buffering activity of hemoglobin at peripheral tissue. But in case of carbon, uh, carbamino hemoglobin where it takes up the carbon dioxide and uh, exports out the CO2 from the lungs. So, abnormal hemoglobin are of two types methemoglobin and carboxyhemoglobin. So, methemoglobin how it will be formed? So, methemoglobin is like uh, where uh, the iron which is in normal hemoglobin, the iron which is present in the center of the pyrrol rings that is in ferrous form. But in methemoglobin, the iron that is present in the center that is in ferric form, okay, and it needs a condition called methemoglobin, okay. And the ferrous of hemoglobin is oxidized to ferrous state by superoxide, uh, like such as certain drugs, other oxidizing agents, that means oxidation, oxidation of iron from ferrous form to ferric form. Okay, and this is happening because of some of the free radicals like superoxide ions or like some of the drugs or oxidative agents which is forming methoglobin and it unable to carry the oxygen. Okay, so the meth hemoglobin is functionally inactive, it does not carry or it loses oxygen carrying capacity. Only very small amount of meth hemoglobin is present in normal blood that means less than 1% of the total hemoglobin formed by spontaneous oxidation of hemoglobin. So, carboxyhemoglobin to talk about carbon monoxide, okay, which combines with hemoity in hemoglobin and it combines at the same position hemoglobin molecule as oxygen but it with affinity 210 times greater than oxygen. So, carbon monoxide is very dangerous, okay, and it uh, immediately inactivates the functional activity of hemoglobin. As a result, even small quantities of carbon monoxide in inspired air causes the formation of relatively large amounts of carboxy uh, carbamino uh, carboxy hemoglobin okay with the corresponding reduction in o2 carrying capacity of the blood even as little as 1% sebo in inspired air can be fatal in minutes so that's all about the various uh, abnormal and normal forms of hemoglobins and their derivatives thanks for listening thank you